A shotgun is a firearm that is usually designed to be fired from the shoulder, which uses the energy of a fixed shell to fire a number of small spherical pellets called shot, or a solid projectile called a slug. Shotguns come in a wide variety of sizes, ranging from 5.5 mm bore up to 5 cm bore, and in a range of firearm operating mechanisms, including breech loading, single barreled, double or combination gun, pump action, bolt, and lever action semi-automatic, and even fully automatic variants. A shotgun is generally a smooth ball firearm, which means that the inside of the barrel is not rifled. Preceding smooth ball firearms, such as the musket, were widely used by armies in the 18th century. The direct ancestor to the shotgun, the blunderbuss, was also used in a similar variety of roles from self-defense to riot control. It was often used by cavalry troops due to its generally shorter length and ease of use, as well as by coachmen for its substantial power. However, in the 19th century, these weapons were largely replaced on the battlefield with breech-loading rifled firearms, which were more accurate over longer ranges. The military value of shotguns was rediscovered in the First World War, when American forces used 12-gauge pump-action shotguns in close-quarters trench fighting to great effect. Since then, it has been used in a variety of roles in civilian, law enforcement, and military applications. The shot pellets from a shotgun spread upon leaving the barrel, and the power of the burning charge is divided among the pellets, which means that the energy of any one ball of shot is fairly low. In a hunting context, this makes shotguns useful primarily for hunting birds and other small game. However, in a military or law enforcement context, the large number of projectiles makes the shotgun useful as a close-quarters combat weapon or a defensive weapon. Shotguns are also used for target shooting sports such as skeet, trap, and sporting clays. These involve shooting clay discs, known as clay pigeons, thrown in various ways. Characteristics Shotguns come in a wide variety of forms, from very small up to massive punt guns, and in nearly every type of firearm operating mechanism. The common characteristics that make a shotgun unique center around the requirements of firing shot. These features are the features typical of a shotgun shell, namely a relatively short, wide cartridge, with straight walls, and operating at a relatively low pressure. Ammunition for shotguns is referred to in the USA as shotgun shells, shot shells, or just shells. The term cartridge is a standard usage in the United Kingdom. The shot is usually fired from a smooth bore barrel. Another configuration is the rifled slug barrel, which fires more accurate solitary projectiles. Uses The typical use of a shotgun is against small and fast-moving targets, often while in the air. The spreading of the shot allows the user to point the shotgun close to the target, rather than having to aim precisely as in the case of a single projectile. The disadvantages of shot are limited range and limited penetration of the shot, which is why shotguns are used at short ranges, and typically against smaller targets. Larger shot sizes, up to the extreme case of the single projectile slug load, result in increased penetration, but at the expense of fewer projectiles and lower probability of hitting the target. Aside from the most common use against small, fast-moving targets, the shotgun has several advantages when used against still targets. First, it has enormous stopping power at short range, more than nearly all handguns and many rifles. Though many believe the shotgun is a great firearm for inexperienced shooters, the truth is, at close range, the spread of shot is not very large at all, and competency in aiming is still required. A typical self-defense load of buckshot contains 8 to 27 large lead pellets, resulting in many wound tracks in the target. Also, unlike a fully jacketed rifle bullet, each pellet of shot is less likely to penetrate walls and hit bystanders. It is favored by law enforcement for its low penetration and high stopping power. On the other hand, the hit potential of a defensive shotgun is often overstated. The typical defensive shot is taken at very close ranges, at which the shot charge expands no more than a few centimeters. This means the shotgun must still be aimed at the target with some care. Balancing this is the fact that shot spreads further upon entering the target, 
and the multiple wound channels of a defensive load are far more likely to produce a disabling wound than a rifle or handgun. Sporting Some of the most common uses of shotguns are the sports of skeet shooting, trap shooting, and sporting clays. These involve shooting clay discs, also known as clay pigeons, thrown in by hand and by machine. Both skeet and trap competitions are featured at the Olympic Games. Hunting The shotgun is very popular for bird hunting, it is also used for more general forms of hunting especially in semi-populated areas where the range of rifle bullets may pose a hazard. Use of a smooth bore shotgun with a rifled slug or, alternatively, a rifled barrel shotgun with a sabot slug, improves accuracy to 100 am or more. This is well within the range of the majority of kill shots by experienced hunters using shotguns. However, given the relatively low muzzle velocity of slug ammunition, typically around 500 AMS, and the blunt, poorly streamlined shape of typical slugs, a hunter must pay close attention to the ballistics of the particular ammunition used to ensure an effective and humane kill shot. At any reasonable range, Shotgun slugs make effective lethal wounds due to their tremendous mass, reducing the length of time that an animal might suffer. For example, a typical 12-gauge shotgun slug is a blunt piece of metal that could be described as an 18-ohm caliber that weighs 28 grams. For comparison, a common deer hunting rifle round is a 7.62-ohm slug weighing 9.7 grams, but the dynamics of the rifle cartridge allow for a different type of wound, and a much further reach. Shotguns are often used with rifled barrels in locations where it is not lawful to hunt with a rifle. Typically, a sabot slug is used in these barrels for maximum accuracy and performance. Shotguns are often used to hunt white-tailed deer in the thick brush and briars of the southeastern and upper midwestern United States, where, due to the dense cover, ranges tend to be very close, 25m or less. Sabot slugs are essentially very large hollow point bullets, and are streamlined for maximum spin and accuracy when shot through a rifled barrel. They have greater ranges than older Foster and Brannock type slugs. Law enforcement In the US and Canada, shotguns are widely used as a support weapon by police forces. One of the rationales for issuing shotguns is that, even without much training, an officer will probably be able to hit targets at close to intermediate range due to the spreading effect of buckshot. This is largely a myth, as the spread of buckshot at 25 feet averages 8 inches, which is still very capable of missing a target. Some police forces are replacing shotguns in this role with carbine rifles such as AR-15s. Shotguns are also used in roadblock situations, where police are blocking a highway to search cars for suspects. In the US, Law enforcement agencies often use riot shotguns, especially for crowd and riot control where they may be loaded with less lethal rounds such as rubber bullets or bean bags. Shotguns are also often used as breaching devices to defeat locks. Military Shotguns are common weapons in military use, particularly for special purposes. Shotguns are found aboard naval vessels for shipboard security, because the weapon is very effective at close range as a way of repelling enemy boarding parties. In a naval setting, stainless steel shotguns are often used, because regular steel is more prone to corrosion in the marine environment. Shotguns are also used by military police units. U.S. Marines have used shotguns since their inception at the squad level, often in the hands of NCOs, while the U.S. Army often issued them to a squad's point man. Shotguns were modified and used in the trench warfare of WWI, in the jungle combat of WWII in Vietnam and are being used today in Iraq, being popular with soldiers and marines in urban combat environments. Some U.S. units in Iraq use shotguns with special frangible breaching rounds to blow the locks off doors when they are making a surprise entry into a dwelling. Home and Personal Defense Shotguns are a very popular means of home defense for many of the same reasons they are preferred for close quarters tasks in law enforcement and the military. Design features for various uses, compared to handguns, shotguns are heavier, larger, and not as maneuverable in close quarters, but do have these advantages, they are generally much more powerful. The average shooter can engage multiple targets faster than with a handgun. 
they are generally perceived as more intimidating. On average, a quality pump action shotgun is generally less expensive than a quality handgun. When loaded with smaller shot, a shotgun will not penetrate walls as readily as rifle and pistol rounds, making it safer for non-combatants when fired in or around populated structures. This comes at a price, however, as smaller shot may not penetrate deeply enough to cause an immediately incapacitating wound. Those who recommend bird shot for minimizing wall penetration also suggest backing it up with a larger buckshot if the first shot fails to stop the threat. Types The wide range of forms the shotgun can take leads to some significant differences between what is technically a shotgun and what is legally considered a shotgun. A fairly broad attempt to define a shotgun is made in the United States Code, which defines the shotgun as a weapon designed or redesigned, made or remade and intended to be fired from the shoulder, and designed or redesigned and made or remade to use the energy of the explosive in a fixed shotgun shell to fire through a smooth bore either a number of ball shot or a single projectile for each single pull of the trigger. A rifled slug, with finned rifling designed to enable the projectile to be safely fired through a choked barrel, is an example of a single projectile. Some shotguns have rifled barrels and are designed to be used with a sabotted bullet one which is typically encased in a two-piece plastic ring designed to peel away after it exits the barrel, leaving the bullet, now spinning after passing through the rifled barrel, to continue toward the target. These shotguns, although they have rifled barrels, still use a shotgun-style shell instead of a rifle cartridge and may in fact still fire regular multi-pellet shotgun shells, but the rifling in the barrel will affect the shot pattern. The use of a rifled barrel blurs the distinction between rifle and shotgun, and in fact the early rifled shotgun barrels went by the name Paradox for just that reason. Hunting laws may differentiate between smooth-barreled and rifled-barreled guns. Right gun has long been a synonym for a shotgun, especially a short-barreled shotgun. During the 19th and early 20th century, these were used to disperse rioters and revolutionaries. The wide spray of the shot ensured a large group would be hit, but the light shot would ensure more wounds than fatalities. When the ground was paved, police officers would often ricochet the shot off the ground, slowing down the shot and spreading pattern even further. To this day specialized police and defensive shotguns are called riot shotguns. The introduction of rubber bullets and beanbag rounds ended the practice of using shot for the most part but riot shotguns are still used to fire a variety of less lethal rounds for riot control. A sawed-off shotgun refers to a shotgun whose barrel has been shortened, leaving it more maneuverable, easier to use at short range and more readily concealed. Many countries establish a legal minimum barrel length that precludes easy concealment in the U.S. The sawed-off shotgun is sometimes known as a loop error in southern Italy and Sicily. Coach guns are similar to sawn-off shotguns, except they are manufactured with an 46 cm barrel and are legal for civilian ownership in some jurisdictions. Coach guns are also more commonly associated with the American Old West or Australian colonial period, and often used for hunting in bush, scrub, or marshland where a longer barrel would be unwieldy or impractical. A backpacker shotgun has a short barrel and either a full-size stock or pistol grip, depending on legislation in intended markets. The overall length of these weapons is frequently less than 90 cm, with some measuring up at less than 63 cm. These weapons are typically break-action .410 gauge, single-barrel designs with no magazine and no automatic ejection capability. They typically employ a cylinder bore and sometimes are available in modified choke as well. Backpacker shotguns are popular for home defense purposes and as survival weapons. Other examples include a variety of .410-slash-rifle survival guns manufactured in over-under designs. In the drilling arrangement, a rimfire or centrifire rifle barrel is located beneath the barrel of a .410-gauge shotgun. Generally, there is one manually cocked external hammer and an external selection lever to select which caliber of cartridge to fire. A notable example is the Springfield Armory M6 Scout, a .410-.22 issued to United States Air Force personnel as a survival gun in the event of a forced landing or accident in a wilderness area. Variants have been used by Israeli, Canadian, 
and American Armed Forces. Shotgun rifle combination guns with two, three, and occasionally even four barrels are available from a number of makers, primarily European. These provided flexibility, enabling the hunter to effectively shoot at flushing birds or more distant small mammals while only carrying one gun. History Most early firearms, such as the blunderbuss, arquebus, and musket had large diameter, smooth bore barrels, and could fire shot as well as solid balls. A firearm intended for use in wing shooting of birds was known as a fowling piece. The 1728 Cyclopedia defines a fowling piece as, fowling piece, a portable firearm for the shooting of birds. See Firearm. Of fowling pieces, those are reputed the best, which have the longest barrel, this from 51 or 2 foot to 6. With an indifferent ball, under harquibus, view for different occasions they should be of different sorts and sizes. But in all, tis essential the barrel be well polished up and smooth within, and the bore all of a bigness, from one end to another. For example, the Brown Bess musket, in service with the British Army from 1722 to 1838, had a 19 mm smooth bore barrel, roughly the same as a 10 gauge shotgun, and was 157 cm long, just short of the above recommended 168 cm. On the other hand, records from the Plymouth Colony show a maximum length of 137 cm for fowling pieces, shorter than the typical musket. Shot was also used in warfare. The buck and ball loading, combining a musket ball with three or six buckshot, was used throughout the history of the smooth ball musket. The first recorded use of the term shotgun was in 1776 in Kentucky. It was noted as part of the frontier language of the West by James Fenimore Cooper. With the adoption of smaller bores and rifled barrels, the shotgun began to emerge as a separate entity. Shotguns have long been the preferred method for sport hunting of birds, and the largest shotguns, the punt guns, were used for commercial hunting. The double-barreled shotgun has changed little since the development of the Boxlock action in 1875. Modern innovations such as interchangeable chokes and subgauge inserts make the double-barreled shotgun the shotgun of choice in skeet, trap shooting, and sporting clays, as well as with many hunters. As wing shooting has been a prestige sport, specialty gunsmiths such as Krikoff or Perazzi have produced fancy double-barrel guns for wealthy European and American hunters. These weapons can cost US$5,000 or more. Some elaborately decorated presentation guns have sold for up to US$100,000. During its long history, the shotgun has been favored by bird hunters, guards, and law enforcement officials. The shotgun has fallen in and out of favor with military forces several times in its long history. Shotguns and similar weapons are simpler than long-range rifles, and were developed earlier. The development of more accurate and deadlier long-range rifles minimized the usefulness of the shotgun on the open battlefields of European wars. But armies have rediscovered the shotgun for speciality uses many times. 19th century During the 19th century, shotguns were mainly employed by cavalry units. Both sides of the American Civil War employed shotguns. U.S. cavalry used the shotgun extensively during the Indian Wars in the latter half of the 19th century. Mounted units favored the shotgun for its moving target effectiveness, and devastating close-range firepower. The shotgun was also favored by citizen militias and similar groups. With the exception of cavalry units, the shotgun saw less and less use throughout the 19th century on the battlefield. As a defense weapon it remained popular with guards and lawmen, however, and the shotgun became one of many symbols of the American Old West. Lawman Cody Leon killed two men with a shotgun. His friend Doc Holliday's only confirmed kill was with a shotgun. The weapon both these men used was the short-barreled version favored by private strongbox guards on stages and trains. These guards, called express messengers, became known as shotgun messengers since they rode with the weapon for defense against bandits. Passenger carriages carrying a strong box usually had at least one private guard armed with a shotgun riding in front of the coach, next to the driver. This practice has survived in American slang. 
the term riding shotgun is used for the passenger who sits in the front passenger seat. The shotgun was a popular weapon for personal protection in the American Old West, requiring less skill on the part of the user than a revolver. Hammerless shotguns The origins of the hammerless shotgun are European but otherwise obscure. The earliest breech loading shotguns originated in France and Belgium in the early 19th century, and a number of them, such as those by Robert and Chateau Villard from the 1830s and 1840s, did not use hammers. In fact, during these decades, a wide variety of ingenious weapons, including rifles, adopted what is now often known as a needle fire method of igniting the charge, where a firing pin or a longer sharper needle provided the necessary impact. The most widely used British hammerless needle fire shotgun was the unusual hinged chamber fixed barrel breech loader by Joseph Needham, produced from the 1850s. By the 1860s, hammerless guns were increasingly used in Europe both in war and sport, although hammer guns were still very much in the majority. The first significant encroachment on hammer guns was a hammerless patent which could be used with a conventional side lock. This was British gunmaker T. Murcott's 1871 action nicknamed the Mouse Trap on account of its loud snap action. However, the most successful hammerless innovation of the 1870s was Anson and Dealey's Boxlock patent of 1875. This simple but ingenious design only used for moving parts allowing the production of cheaper and reliable shotguns. Daniel Myron Lefevre Daniel Myron Lefevre is credited with the invention of the American hammerless shotgun. Working for Barber and Lefevre in Syracuse, New York. He introduced his first hammerless shotgun in 1878. This gun was cocked with external cocking levers on the side of the breech. He formed his own company, the Lefevre Arms Company, in 1880 and went on to patent the first truly automatic hammerless shotgun in 1883. This gun automatically cocked itself when the breech was closed. He later developed the mechanism to automatically eject the shells when the breech was opened. The Lefevre Arms Company went on to make some of the finest double-barrel shotguns in America until they were bought by the Ithaca Gun Company in 1916. John Moses Browning, one of the men most responsible for the modern development of the shotgun was prolific gun designer John Browning. While working for Winchester Firearms, Browning revolutionized shotgun design. In 1887, Browning introduced the Model 1887 lever action repeating shotgun, which loaded a fresh cartridge from its internal magazine by the operation of the action lever. Before this time, most shotguns were the break open type. This development was greatly overshadowed by two further innovations he introduced at the end of the 19th century. In 1893, Browning produced the Model 1893 pump action shotgun introducing the now familiar pump action to the market. And in 1900, he patented the Browning Auto 5, the world's first semi-automatic shotgun. The Browning Auto 5 remained in production until 1998. World Wars, the decline in military use of shotguns reversed in World War I. American forces under General Pershing employed 12-gauge pump action shotguns when they were deployed to the Western Front in 1917. These shotguns were fitted with bayonets and a heat shield so the barrel could be gripped while the bayonet was deployed. Shotguns fitted in this fashion became known as trench guns by the United States Army. Those without such modifications were known as riot guns. After World War I, the United States military began referring to all shotguns as riot guns. Due to the cramped conditions of trench warfare, the American shotguns were extremely effective. Germany even filed an official diplomatic protest against their use, alleging they violated the laws of warfare. The judge advocate general reviewed the protest, and it was rejected because the Germans protested use of lead shot but military shot was plated. This is the only occasion the legality of the shotgun's use in warfare has been questioned. During World War II, the shotgun was not heavily used in the war in Europe by official military forces. However, the shotgun was a favorite weapon of Allied-supported partisans, such as the French Resistance. By contrast, in the Pacific theater, thick jungles and heavily fortified positions made the shotgun a favorite weapon of the United States Marines. Marines tend to use pump shotguns, 
since the pump action was less likely to jam in the humid and dirty conditions of the Pacific Campaign. Similarly, the United States Navy used pump shotguns to guard ships when in port in Chinese harbors. The United States Army Air Forces also used pump shotguns to guard bombers and other aircraft against saboteurs when parked on air bases across the Pacific and on the west coast of the United States. Pump and semi-automatic shotguns were used in marksmanship training, particularly for bomber gunners. The most common pump shotguns used for these duties were the 12-gauge Winchester Model 97 and Model 12. The break-open action, single-barrel shotgun was used by the British Home Guard and U.S. Home Security Forces. Notably, industrial centers were guarded by National Guard soldiers with Winchester Model 37 12-gauge shotguns. Late 20th century to present, since the end of World War II. The shotgun has remained a speciality weapon for modern armies. It has been deployed for specialized tasks where its strengths were put to particularly good use. It was used to defend machine gun emplacements during the Korean War, American and French jungle patrols used shotguns during the Vietnam War, and shotguns saw extensive use as door breaching and close quarter weapons in the early stages of the Iraq War, and saw limited use in tank crews. Many modern navies make extensive use of shotguns by personnel engaged in boarding hostile ships, as any shots fired will almost certainly be over a short range. Nonetheless, shotguns are far less common in military use than rifles, carbines, submachine guns, or pistols. On the other hand, the shotgun has become a standard in law enforcement use. A variety of speciality less lethal or non lethal ammunitions, such as tear gas shells, Bean bags, flares, explosive sonic stun rounds, and rubber projectiles, all packaged into 12 gauge shotgun shells, are produced specifically for the law enforcement market. Recently, Taser International introduced a self contained electronic weapon which is fired from a standard 12 gauge shotgun. The shotgun remains a standard firearm for hunting throughout the world for all sorts of game from birds and small game to large game such as deer. The versatility of the shotgun as a hunting weapon has steadily increased as slug rounds and more advanced rifled barrels have given shotguns longer range and higher killing power. The shotgun has become a ubiquitous firearm in the hunting community. Design factors, action, action is the term for the operating mechanism of a gun. There are many types of shotguns, typically categorized by the number of barrels or the way the gun is reloaded. Break action. For most of the history of the shotgun, the break-action breech-loading double was the most common type, typically divided into two subtypes. The traditional side-by-side -side shotgun features two barrels mounted one beside the other, whereas the over and under shotgun has the two barrels mounted one on top of the other. Side-by-side -side shotguns were traditionally used for hunting and other sporting pursuits, whereas over and under shotguns are more commonly associated with sporting use. Both types of double-barrel shotgun are used for hunting and sporting use, with the individual configuration largely being a matter of personal preference. Another, less commonly encountered type of break-action shotgun is the combination gun, which is an over and under design with one shotgun barrel and one rifle barrel. There is also a class of break-action guns called drillings, which contain three barrels, usually two shotgun barrels of the same gauge and a rifle barrel though the only common theme is that at least one barrel be a shotgun barrel. The most common arrangement was essentially a side-by-side -side shotgun with a rifle barrel below and centered. Usually a drilling containing more than one rifle barrel would have both rifle barrels in the same caliber, but examples do exist with different caliber barrels, usually a .22 long rifle and a centerfire cartridge. Although very rare, drillings with three and even four shotgun barrels were made. Pump action. In pump action shotguns, a sliding forearm handle works the action, extracting the spent shell and inserting a new one while cocking the hammer or striker as the pump is worked. A pump gun is typically fed from a tubular magazine underneath the barrel, which also serves as a guide for the pump. The rounds are fed in one by one through a port in the receiver, where they are lifted by a lever called the elevator and pushed forward into the chamber by the bolt. A pair of latches at the rear of the magazine hold the rounds in place and facilitate feeding of one shell at a time. 
If it is desired to load the gun fully, a round may be loaded through the ejection port directly into the chamber, or cycled from the magazine, which is then topped off with another round. Well-known examples include the Winchester Model 1897, Remington 870 and Mossberg 500-590. Pump-action shotguns are common hunting, fouling and sporting shotguns. Hunting models generally have a barrel between 600 and 700 mm. Tube-fed models designed for hunting often come with a dowel rod or other stop that is inserted into the magazine and reduces the capacity of the gun to three shells as is mandated by U.S. federal law when hunting migratory birds. They can also easily be used with an empty magazine as a single-shot weapon, by simply dropping the next round to be fired into the open ejection port after the spent round is ejected. For this reason, pump actions are commonly used to teach novice shooters under supervision, as the trainer can load each round more quickly than with a break action, while unlike a break action the student can maintain his grip on the gun and concentrate on proper handling and firing of the weapon. Pump action shotguns with shorter barrels and little or no barrel choke are highly popular for use in home defense, military and law enforcement, and are commonly known as riot guns. The minimum barrel length for shotguns in most of the U.S. is 18 inches, and this barrel length to increase magazine capacity and or ensure the gun is legal regardless of measuring differences, is the primary choice for riot shotguns. The shorter barrel makes the weapon easier to maneuver around corners and in tight spaces, though slightly longer barrels are sometimes used outdoors for a tighter spread pattern or increased accuracy of slug projectiles. Home defense and law enforcement shotguns are usually chambered for 12-gauge shells, providing maximum shot power and the use of a variety of projectiles such as buckshot, rubber, sandbag and slug shells but 20-gauge or .410 are also available in defense-type shotgun models allowing easier use by novice shooters. A riot shotgun has many advantages over a handgun or rifle. Compared to defense-caliber handguns, a shotgun has far more power and damage potential, allowing a one-shot stop that is more difficult to achieve with typical handgun loads. Compared to a rifle, riot shotguns are easier to maneuver due to the shorter barrel, still provide better damage potential at indoor distances, and reduce the risk of over-penetration. That is, the bullet or shot passing completely through the target and continuing beyond, which poses a risk to those behind the target through walls. The widespread of the shot reduces the importance of shot placement compared to a single projectile, which increases the effectiveness of point shooting rapidly aiming simply by pointing the weapon in the direction of the target. This allows easy, fast use by novices. Lever action. Early attempts at repeating shotguns invariably centered around either bolt or lever action designs, drawing inspiration from contemporary repeating rifles, with the earliest successful repeating shotgun being the lever action Winchester M1887, designed by John Browning at the behest of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. Lever shotguns, while less common, were popular in the late 19th century with the Winchester Model 1887 and Model 1901 being prime examples. Initially very popular, demand waned after the introduction of pump-action shotguns around the start of the 20th century, and production was eventually discontinued in 1920. One major issue with lever actions was that early shotgun shells were often made of paper or similar fragile materials. As a result the loading of shells or working of the action of the shotgun, could often result in cartridges getting crushed and becoming unusable, or even damaging the gun. Lever shotguns have seen a return to the gun markets in recent years, however, with Winchester producing the Model 9410, and a handful of other firearm manufacturers producing versions of the Winchester Model 1887-1901 designed for modern 12-gauge smokeless shot shells with more durable plastic casings. There has been a notable uptick in lever action shotgun sales in Australia since 1997, when pump actions were effectively outlawed. Semi automatic gas, inertia, or recoil operated actions are other popular methods of increasing the rate of fire of a shotgun. These are generally referred to as autoloaders or semi automatics. Instead of having the action manually operated by a pump or lever, the action automatically cycles each time the shotgun is fired, ejecting the spent shell and reloading a fresh one into the chamber. 
The first successful semi-automatic shotgun was John Browning's Auto 5, first produced by Fabrique Nationale beginning in 1902. Other well-known examples include the Remington 1100, Benelli M1, and Sega 12. Some, such as the franchise Spars 12 and Benelli M3, are capable of switching between semi-automatic and pump action. These are popular for two reasons. First, some jurisdictions forbid the use of semi-automatic actions for hunting, and second, lower-powered rounds, like reduced recoil buckshot shells and many less lethal cartridges, have insufficient power to reliably cycle a semi-automatic shotgun. Bolt action, bolt action shotguns, while uncommon, do exist. One of the best known examples is a 12 gauge manufactured by Mosberg featuring a three round magazine, marketed in Australia just after changes to the gun laws in 1997 heavily restricted the ownership and use of pump action and semi automatic shotguns. They were not a huge success, as they were somewhat slow and awkward to operate, and the rate of fire was noticeably slower than a double barreled gun. The Ishapur Arsenal in India also manufactured a single shot .410 bore shotgun based on the SML EMK3 rifle. The Russian Badana shotgun was effectively a single shot bolt action rifle that became obsolete, and was subsequently modified to chamber 16 gauge shotgun shells for civilian sale. The US military M26 is also a bolt action weapon. Bolt action shotguns have also been used in the goose gun application intended to kill birds such as geese at greater range. Typically, goose guns have long barrels, and small bolt-fed magazines. Bolt-action shotguns are also used in conjunction with slug shells for the maximum possible accuracy from a shotgun. Other, in addition to the commonly encountered shotgun actions already listed, there are also shotguns based on the Martini Henry rifle design, originally designed by British arms maker W. W. Greener. Some of the more interesting advances in shotgun technology include the versatile Neostar 2000 and fully automatic such as the Panker Jackhammer or Auto Assault 12. In 1925, Rodolfo Cosmi produced the first working hybrid prototype semi-automatic shotgun, which had an eight-round magazine located in the stock. While it reloaded automatically after each shot like a semi-automatic, it had a break action to load the first shell. This design has only been repeated once, by Beretta with their UGB-25 automatic shotgun. The user loads the first shell by breaking the gun in the manner of a break-action shotgun, then closes it and inserts the second shell into a clip on the gun's right side. The spent hulls are ejected downwards. The guns combine the advantages of the break-action with those of the semi-automatic. Gauge The caliber of shotguns is measured in terms of gauge or bore. The gauge number is determined by the weight, in fractions of a pound, of a solid sphere of lead with a diameter equal to the inside diameter of the barrel. So, a 10-gauge shotgun nominally should have an inside diameter equal to that of a sphere made from one-tenth of a pound of lead. By far the most common gauges are 12 and 20, although .410, 32, 28, 24, 16, and 10-gauge also exist. Ammunition manufacturer CCI produces 9mm and several other popular pistol calibers up to .45 ACP as well as .22 for firing from handguns. These are commonly called snake shot cartridges. Rimfire caliber. Larger gauges too powerful to shoulder, have been built but were generally affixed to small boats and referred to as punt guns. These were used for commercial waterfowl hunting, to kill large numbers of birds resting on the water. Although relatively rare, single and double daringers have also been produced that are capable of firing either .45 Colt or .410 shotgun shells from the same chamber. They are commonly known as snake guns, and are popular among some outdoorsmen in the south and southwest regions of the United States. There are also some revolvers, such as the Taurus Judge, that are capable of shooting the .45 LC-.410 rounds. But as with Derringers, these are handguns that shoot .410 shotgun shells, and are not necessarily considered shotguns. The .410 bore is unusual, being measured in inches, and would be approximately 67 real gauge, though its short hull versions are nominally called 36 gauge in Europe. 
it uses a relatively small charge of shot. It is used for hunting and for skeet. Because of its very light recoil, it is often used as a beginner's gun. However, the small charge and typically tight choke make it more difficult to hit targets. It is also frequently used by expert shooters because of the difficulty, especially in expensive side-by-side -side and over-under models for hunting small bird games such as quail and doves. Inexpensive bolt action point four one zero shotguns are a very common first hunting shotgun among young preteen hunters, as they are used mostly for hunting squirrels, while additionally teaching bolt action manipulation skills that will transfer easily later to adult sized hunting rifles. Most of these young hunters move up to a 20 gauge within a few years, and to 12 gauge shotguns and full size hunting rifles by their late teens. Still, Many who are particularly recoil averse choose to stay with 20 gauge shotguns all their adult life, as it is a very suitable gauge for many popular hunting uses. A recent innovation is the black boring of barrels, in which the barrels are bored out slightly larger than their actual gauge. This reduces the compression forces on the shot when it transitions from the chamber to the barrel. This leads to a slight reduction in perceived recoil and an improvement in shot pattern due to reduced deformation of the shot. Shot Most shotguns are used to fire a number of ball shot, in addition to slugs and sabots. The ball shot or pellets is for the most part made of lead but this has been partially replaced by bismuth, steel, tungsten iron, tungsten nickel iron and even tungsten polymer loads. Non-toxic loads are required by federal law for waterfowl hunting in the U.S., as the shot may be ingested by the waterfowl, which some authorities believe can lead to health problems due to the lead exposure. Shot is termed either birdshot or buckshot depending on the shot size. Informally, birdshot pellets have a diameter smaller than 5mm and buckshot are larger than that. Pellet size is indicated by a number. For birdshot this ranges from the smallest 12 to 2 and then BB. For buckshot, the numbers usually start at 4 and go down to 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and finally 0, 0, 0. A different informal distinction is that bird shot pellets are small enough that they can be measured into the cartridge by weight and simply poured in, whereas buckshot pellets are so large they must be stacked inside the cartridge in a fixed geometric arrangement in order to fit. The diameter in hundredths of an inch of bird shot sizes from number 9 to number 1 can be obtained by subtracting the shot size from 17. Thus, number 4 bird shot is 17 minus 4 equals 13 equals 0.13 inches in diameter. Different terminology is used outside the United States. In England and Australia, for example, OO buckshot cartridges are commonly referred to as SG cartridges. Pattern and choke Shot, small and round and delivered without spin, is ballistically inefficient. As the shot leaves the barrel it begins to disperse in the air. The resulting cloud of pellets is known as the shot pattern, or shotgun shot spread. The ideal pattern would be a circle with an even distribution of shot throughout, with a density sufficient to ensure enough pellets will intersect the target to achieve the desired result, such as a kill when hunting or a break when shooting clay targets. In reality the pattern is closer to a Gaussian, or normal distribution, with a higher density in the center that tapers off at the edges. Patterns are usually measured by firing at a 30 inches diameter circle on a large sheet of paper placed at varying distances. The hits inside the circle are counted, and compared to the total number of pellets, and the density of the pattern inside the circle is examined. An ideal pattern would put nearly 100% of the pellets in the circle and would have no void so euro any region where a target silhouette will fit and not cover three or more holes is considered a potential problem. A constriction in the end of the barrel known as the choke is used to tailor the pattern for different purposes. Chokes may either be formed as part of the barrel at the time of manufacture, by squeezing the end of the ball down over a mandrel, or by threading the barrel and screwing in an interchangeable choke tube. The choke typically consists of a conical section that smoothly tapers from the bore diameter down to the choke diameter, followed by a cylindrical section of the choke diameter. B Manufacturing, a maker of interchangeable shotgun chokes, uses a conical portion about three times the bore diameter in length, so the shot is gradually squeezed down with minimal deformation. 
the cylindrical section is shorter, usually 0.6 to 0.75 inches. The use of interchangeable chokes has made it easy to tune the performance of a given combination of shotgun and shot shell to achieve the desired performance. The choke should be tailored to the range and size of the targets. A skeet shooter shooting at close targets might use 127 micrometers of constriction to produce a 76 cm diameter pattern at a distance of 19 am. A trap shooter shooting at distant targets might use 762 micrometers of constriction to produce a 76 cm diameter pattern at 37 am. Special chokes for turkey hunting, which requires long range shots at the small head and neck of the bird can go as high as 1500 micrometers. The use of too much choke and a small pattern increases the difficulty of hitting the target, whereas the use of too little choke produces large patterns with insufficient pellet density to reliably break targets or kill game. Cylinder barrels have no constriction. See also, slug barrel, other specialized choke tubes exist as well. Some turkey hunting tubes have constrictions greater than super full or additional features like porting to reduce recoil, or straight rifling that is designed to stop any spin that the shot column might acquire when traveling down the barrel. These tubes are often extended tubes, meaning they project beyond the end of the ball, giving more room for things like a longer conical section. Shot spreaders or diffusion chokes work opposite of normal choke isaguro they are designed to spread the shot more than a cylinder ball, generating wider patterns for very short range use. A number of recent spreader chokes, such as the bleed diffusion line, actually use rifling in the choke to spin the shot slightly, creating a wider spread. The bleed diffusion uses a 1 in 36 cm twist, as does the Fabam Lion Paradox shotgun. Oval chokes, which are designed to provide a shot pattern wider than it is tall, are sometimes found on combat shotguns, primarily those of the Vietnam War era. They were available for aftermarket edition in the 1970s from companies like A&W Engineering. Military versions of the Ithaca 37 with duck bill choke were used in limited numbers during the Vietnam War by U.S. Navy SEALs. It arguably increased effectiveness in close-range engagements against multiple targets. Two major disadvantages plagued the system. One was erratic patterning. The second was that the shot would spread too quickly providing a very limited effective zone. Offset chokes, where the pattern is intentionally slightly off of center, are used to change the point of impact. For instance, an offset choke can be used to make a double-barreled shotgun with poorly aligned barrels hit the same spot with both barrels. Barrel length, shotguns generally have longer barrels than modern rifles. Unlike rifles, however, the long shotgun barrel is not for ballistic purposes. Shotgun shells use small powder charges in large diameter bores, and this leads to very low muzzle pressures and very little velocity change with increasing barrel length. According to Remington, modern powder in a shotgun burns completely in 25, 9.8425 in, to 36, 14.173 in, a cm barrels. Since shotguns are generally used for shooting at small, fast-moving targets, it is important to lead the target by firing slightly ahead of the target, so that when the shot reaches the range of the target, the target will have moved into the pattern. On uphill shooting, this means to shoot above the target. Conversely, on downhill shooting, this means to shoot below the target, which is somewhat counterintuitive for many beginning hunters. Of course, Depending on the barrel length, the amount of lead employed will vary for different barrel lengths, and must be learned by experience. Shotguns made for close ranges, where the angular speed of the targets is great, tend to have shorter barrels, around 24 to 28 inches. Shotguns for longer range shooting, where angular speeds are small, tend to have longer barrels, 28 to 34 inches. The longer barrels have more inertia and will therefore swing more slowly but more steadily. The short, low inertia barrels swing faster, but are less steady. These lengths are for pump or semi-auto shotguns. Break-open guns have shorter overall lengths for the same barrel length, and so will use longer barrels. The break-open design saves between 9 and 15 cm in overall length, but in most cases pays for this by having two barrels, 
which adds weight at the muzzle, and so usually only adds a couple of centimeters. Barrels for shotguns have been getting longer as modern steels and production methods make the barrel stronger and lighter. A longer, lighter barrel gives the same inertia for less overall weight. Shotguns for use against larger, slower targets generally have even shorter barrels. Small game shotguns, for hunting game like rabbits and squirrels, or shotguns for use with buckshot for deer, are often 56 to 61 cm. Shotguns intended for all-round hunting are a compromise, of course, but a 72 to 74 cm ch barrel pump action 12 gauge shotgun with a modified choke can serve admirably for use as one gun intended for general all-round hunting of small games such as quails, rabbits, pheasants, doves, and squirrels in semi-open wooded or farmland areas in many parts of the eastern U.S. where dense brush is less of a hindrance and the ability to have more reach is important. For hunting in dense brush, shorter barrel lengths are often preferred when hunting the same types of game. Ammunition The extremely large caliber of shotgun shells has led to a wide variety of different ammunition. Shot shells are the most commonly used round, filled with lead or lead substitute pellets. Of this general class, the most common subset is birdshot, which uses a large number of small pellets meant to create a wide kill spread to hunt birds in flight. Shot shells are described by the size and number of the pellets within, and numbered in reverse order. Size 9 shot is the smallest size normally used for hunting and is used on small upland game birds such as dove and quail. Larger sizes are used for hunting larger upland game birds and waterfowl. Buckshot is similar to but larger than birdshot, and was originally designed for hunting larger game, such as deer. While the advent of new, more accurate slug technologies is making buckshot less attractive for hunting, it is still the most common choice for police, military, and home defense uses. Like birdshot, buckshot is described by pellet size, with larger numbers indicating smaller shot. From the smallest to the largest, buckshot sizes are, number 4 number 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 0. A typical round for defensive use would be a 12 gauge 2A3 of 4 inches length 00 buck shell, which contains 9 pellets roughly 8.4 mm in diameter, each comparable to a .38 special bullet in damage potential. New tactical buckshot rounds, designed specifically for defensive use, use slightly fewer shot at lower velocity to reduce recoil and increase controllability of the shotgun. There are some shotgun rounds designed specifically for police use that shoot effectively from 50 yards with a 20 inches diameter grouping of the balls. Slug rounds are rounds that fire a single solid slug. They are used for hunting large game, and in certain military and law enforcement applications. Modern slugs are moderately accurate, especially when fired from special rifled slug barrels. They are often used in shotgun only hunting zones near inhabited areas where rifles are prohibited due to their greater range. Sabots are a common type of slug round. While some slugs are exactly 30 euro a 12 gauge metal projectile in a cartridge a euro a sabot is a smaller but more aerodynamic projectile surrounded by a shoe of some other material. This sabot jacket seals the barrel, increasing pressure and acceleration, while also inducing spin on the projectile in a rifled barrel. Once the projectile clears the barrel, the sabot material falls away, leaving an unmarked, aerodynamic bullet to continue toward the target. The advantages over a traditional slug are increased shot power, increased bullet velocity due to the lighter mass bullet, and increased accuracy due to the velocity and the reduction in deformation of the slug itself. Disadvantages versus a traditional slug include lower muzzle momentum due to reduced mass, reduced damage due to smaller bullet diameter, and significantly higher per unit cost. Speciality ammunition, the unique properties of the shotgun, such as large case capacity, large bore, and the lack of rifling, has led to the development of a large variety of speciality shells, ranging from novelties to high-tech military rounds. Hunting, defensive, and military Brennick and Foster type slugs have the same basic configuration as normal slugs, but have increased accuracy. The hollowed rear of the Foster slug improves accuracy by placing more mass in the front of the projectile, 
therefore inhibiting the tumble that normal slugs may generate. The Brennick slug takes this concept a bit further, with the addition of a wad that stays connected to the projectile after discharge, increasing accuracy. Both slugs are commonly found with fins or rib, which are meant to allow the projectile to safely squeeze down during passage through chokes, but they do not increase stability in flight. Flochette rams contain aerodynamic darts, typically from 8 to 20 in number. The flechette provide greatly extended range due to their aerodynamic shape, and improved penetration of light armor. American troops during the Vietnam War packed their own flechette shotgun rounds, called beehive rounds, after the similar artillery rounds. However, terminal performance was poor due to the very light weight of the flechettes, and their use was quickly dropped. Frag 12 shotgun rounds are a series of special purpose shotgun grenades, including high explosive blast, fragmentation, and heap grenades intended to be fired from any 12 gar shotgun. They are distinguished from regular shotgun rounds by a green hull. It has been proposed as an armament for modern UAVs and is currently being tested for military deployment. Grenade rounds use exploding projectiles to increase long-range lethality. These are currently experimental, but the British FRAG-12 which comes in both armor-penetrating and fragmentary forms, is under consideration by military forces, less lethal rounds, for riot and animal control. Flexible baton rounds, commonly called bin bags, fire a fabric bag filled with birdshot or a similar loose, dense substance. The punch effect of the bag is useful for knocking down targets. The rounds are used by police to subdue violent suspects. The bean bag round is by far the most common less lethal round used. Due to the large surface area of these rounds, they lose velocity rapidly, and must be used at fairly short ranges to be effective, though use at extremely short ranges, under 3 a.m., can result in broken bones or other serious or lethal injuries. The rounds can also fly in a frisbee-like fashion and cut the person or animal being fired at. For this reason, these types of rounds are referred to as less lethal, as opposed to less than lethal. Gas shells spray a cone of gas for several meters. These are primarily used by riot police. They normally contain pepper gas or tear gas. Other variations launch a gas grenade-like projectile. Rock salt shells are hand-loaded with coarse rock salt crystals, replacing the standard lead or steel shot. Rock salt shells could be seen as the forerunners of modern less lethal rounds. In the United States, rock salt shells were and are sometimes still used by rural civilians to defend their property. The brittle salt was unlikely to cause serious injury at long ranges, but would cause painful stinging injuries and served as a warning. British gamekeepers have used rock salt shells to deter poachers. Rather than get into a physical confrontation, they stalk the poachers making themselves known by a loud shout of run. Just before firing, to avoid hitting the now fleeing subject in the eyes. Rubber slugs or rubber buckshot are similar in principle to the bean bag rounds. Composed of flexible rubber or plastic and fired at low velocities, these rounds are probably the most common choice for riot control. Taser International announced in 2007 a new 12-gauge extended range electronic projectile or XREP which contains a small electroshock weapon unit in a carrier that can be fired from a standard 12-gauge shotgun. The XREP projectile is fin-stabilized, and travels at an initial velocity of 100 AMS. Barbs on the front attach the electroshock unit to the target, with a tassel deploying from the rear to widen the circuit. A 20-second burst of electrical energy is delivered to the target. This product is expected to be released to markets in 2008. They were used a euro despite still being subject to testing, in breach of the supplier's license a euro by Northumbria police in their standoff with Raoul Mote in 2010. Breaching rounds, often called frangible, disintegrator, or Hatton rounds, are designed to destroy door locking mechanisms without risking lives. They are constructed of a very brittle substance that transfers most of the angry to the primary target but then fragment into much smaller pieces or dust so as not to injure unseen targets such as hostages or non-combatants that may be standing behind a breach door. Bird bombs are low-powered rounds that fire a firecracker that is fused to explode a short time after firing. 
they are designed to scare animals, such as birds that congregate on airport runways. Screechers fire a pyrotechnic whistle that emits a loud whistling sound for the duration of its flight. These are also used to scare animals. Blank shells contain only a small amount of powder and no actual load. When fired, the blanks provide the sound and flash of a real load, but with no projectile. These may be used for simulation of gunfire, scaring wildlife, or as power for a launching device such as the Mossberg No. 50298 Marine Line Launcher. Stinger is a type of shotgun shell which contains 16 00 buck balls made of zytl, and is designed as a non lethal ammunition ideally used in small spaces. Novelty and other, bolo rounds are made of two or more slugs molded onto steel wire. When fired, the slugs separate, pulling the wire taut creating a flying blade, which could theoretically decapitate people and animals or amputate limbs. However, many active shotgun users consider this to be overstated, and view bolo shells as being less effective than conventional ammunition. Bolo shell rounds are banned in many locations due to concerns about their potential lethality. The round is named in reference to bowlers, which use two or more weighted balls on a rope to trap cattle or game. Dragon's Breath usually refers to a zirconium-based pyrotechnic shotgun round. When fired, a gout of flame erupts from the barrel of the gun. The visual effect it produces is impressive, similar to that of a short-ranged flamethrower. However, it has few tactical uses, mainly distraction disorientation. Flare rounds are sometimes carried by hunters for safety and rescue purposes. They are available in low and high altitude versions. Some brands claim they can reach a height of up to 200 am. Legal issues Globally, shotguns are generally not as heavily regulated as rifles or handguns, likely because they lack the range of rifles and are not easily concealable as handguns are. Thus, they are perceived as a lesser threat by legislative authorities. The one exception is a sawed-off shotgun, especially a loop error, as it is more easily concealed than a normal shotgun. Australia Within Australia, all shotguns manufactured after January 1, 1901 are considered firearms and are subject to registration and licensing. Most shotguns are classed as category weapons and, as such, are comparatively easy to obtain a license for given a legally recognized legitimate reason, such as target shooting or hunting. However, pump-action and semi-automatic shotguns are classed as Category C weapons. A license for this type of firearm is, generally speaking, not available to the average citizen. For more information, see Gun Politics in Australia. Canada Canada has three classifications of firearms, non-restricted, restricted, and prohibited. Shotguns are found in all three classes. All non-restricted shotguns must have an overall length of 660 mm. Semi-automatic shotguns must also have a barrel length of more than 470 mm and have a capacity of five shells or less in the magazine to remain non-restricted. All other shotgun action types do not have a magazine limit restriction or a minimum barrel length provided the overall length of the firearm remains more than 660 mm and the barrel was produced by an approved manufacturer. Shotgun barrels may only be reduced in length to a minimum of 457 mm. Non-restricted shotguns may be possessed with any possession and acquisition license or possession only license and may be transported throughout the country without special authorization and may be used for hunting certain species at certain times of the year. Semi-automatic shotguns with a barrel length of less than 470 mm are considered restricted and any shotgun that has been altered so its barrel length is less than 457 mm or if its overall length is less than 660 mm is considered prohibited. Restricted and prohibited shotguns may be possessed with a PAL or POL and has been endorsed for restricted or prohibited grandfathered firearms. These shotguns require special authorization to transport. The Canadian Firearms Registry was a government-run registry of all legally owned firearms in Canada. The government provided amnesty from prosecution to shotgun and rifle owners if they failed to register non-restricted shotguns and rifles. The long gun portion of the registry was scrapped in 2011. CHTTP 
WWWCFCCAFCGC CAR and PE ASP for an official Canadian list of non-restricted and restricted and prohibited firearms. UK, in the United Kingdom, a shotgun certificate is required to possess a Section 2 shotgun. These cost a £50 and can only be denied if the chief of police in the area believes and can prove that the applicant poses a real danger to the public, or if the applicant has been convicted of a crime punishable by imprisonment for a term of three years or more or if the applicant cannot securely store a shotgun. The round number restrictions apply only to the magazine, not the chamber, so it is legal to have a single-barreled semi-auto or pump-action shotgun that holds three rounds in total or a shotgun with separate chambers. For a shotgun to qualify as a Section 2 shotgun, it must meet the following criteria. A. Has a barrel not less than 24 inches in length and does not have any barrel with a bore more than 2 inches in diameter. B. Either has no magazine or has a non-detachable magazine not capable of holding more than 2 cartridges. C. Is not a revolver gun. Prior to a SGC being issued an interview is conducted with a local firearms officer, in the past this was a duty undertaken by the local police although more recently this function has been contracted out to civilian staff. The officer will check the location and suitability of the gun safe that is to be used for storage and conduct a general interview to establish the reasons behind the applicant requiring a SGC. An SGC holder can own any number of shotguns meeting these requirements so long as he she can store them securely. No certificate is required to own shotgun ammunition, but one is required to buy it. There is no restriction on the amount of shotgun ammunition that can be bought or owned. There are also no rules regarding the storage of ammunition. However, Shotgun ammunition which contains fewer than six projectiles requires a Section 1 firearm certificate. Shotguns with a magazine capacity greater than two rounds are also considered to be Section 1 firearms and, as such, require an FAC to own. An FAC costs a £50 but is much more restrictive than an SGC. The applicant must nominate two referees who are known to the applicant to vouch for his or her character. A new variation is required for each new caliber of gun to be owned. Limits are set on how much ammunition a person can own at any one time. And an FAC can be denied if the applicant does not have sufficient good reason. Good reason generally means hunting, collecting, or target shooting, though other reasons may be acceptable, personal defense is not an acceptable reason. Any pump action or semi automatic smooth bore gun with a barrel length of less than 24 inches or total length of less than 40 inches is considered to be a Section 5 firearm, that is, one that is subject to general prohibition, unless it is chambered for .22 caliber rimfire ammunition. U.S. In the U.S., federal law prohibits shotguns from being capable of holding more than three shells including the round in the chamber when used for hunting migratory game birds such as doves, ducks, and geese. For other uses, a capacity of any number of shells is generally permitted. Most magazine-fed shotguns come with a removable magazine plug to limit capacity to two, plus one in the chamber, for hunting migratory game birds. Certain states have restrictions on magazine capacity or design features under hunting or assault weapon laws. Shotguns intended for defensive use have barrels as short as 18 inches for private use as measured from the breech face to the muzzle when the weapon is in battery, or have an overall length of less than 26 inches are classified as short-barreled shotguns under the 1934 National Firearms Act and are regulated. A similar short-barreled weapon having a pistol grip may be classified as an AOW or any other weapon. A shotgun is defined as a weapon designed to be fired from the shoulder. The classification varies depending on how the weapon was originally manufactured. Shotguns used by military, police, and other government agencies are regulated under the National Firearms Act of 1934. However, they are exempt from transfer taxes. These weapons commonly have barrels as short as 12 to 14 inches so that they are easier to handle in confined spaces. Non-prohibited private citizens may own short-barreled shotguns by passing extensive background checks as well as paying a $200 federal tax and being issued a stamp. Defensive shotguns sometimes have no butt stock or will have a folding stock to reduce overall length even more when required. 
AOW's transfer with a $5 tax stamp from the BATFE, see also, antique guns, gun safety, list of shotguns, double-barreled shotgun, riding shotgun, shotgun wedding, references, notes. Bibliography, Bob Brister. Shotgunning, the art and a science. New Jersey, New Win Publishing. ISBN A0-8329-1840-7A, Elmer Keith. Shotguns. Pennsylvania, The Stackpole Company. ISBN A0-935632-58-1. A, Michael McIntosh. Best Guns. Alabama, Cantra Sport Press. ISBN A 0 924357 79 7. Jack O'Connor. The Shotgun Book. New York, Alfred A. North. ISBN A 0 394 50138 1. External links Shotgun FAQ, Shotgun Sabot Separation Photography, Shotgun Chokes and Gauges. Popular Mechanics, October 1947, PA 196-200. Excellent diagrams and drawings, 